going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support and i do apologize for that but um guys i'm going to talk a little bit about a video i did earlier today and uh it's about a young lady who was amish out there in northwest pennsylvania that tragically lost her life last week by the name of rebecca Byler. Age 26, may she rest in peace. This woman was a uh, six month pregnant and she lost her child at the hands of this man right here. This guy is Sean Cranston, 52 years old. And uh, he went up to the house, forced his way in, shot her in the head, cut her throat, left her on the floor. While wow, there were two young children in the house. And as horrific as it is, I've been uh, looking around, still looking at the story because you guys have left me some comments and they're saying this thing might be mistaken identity. That really makes this thing bad, guys. You know, in my former video, I said that, you know, this guy right here is a special kind of uh, anger and hate for somebody to do something like that. This woman was found. This guy did all of this stuff and left. And there were two small children in the house left there for the husband and the uh, neighbor to come and find her laid out there with the children still in the house. So this guy busted in there. They said supposedly it may be mistaken identity, meaning people that lived in that house before them were the ones that adopted the children, the, child, the grandson of his that he's looking for and moved away a few years ago. So he had the wrong people all along. Now, I'm going to explain something to you before I get back into the story. You guys have been leaving me comments, and I respect that. You guys have been respectful with your comments, and you've been like, hey, Steve, I heard this, I heard that, I heard this, I heard that. And I listened. So I kept seeing it enough. I said, okay, well, let me go back and check and see if anything else came out. Now, this is what I found. I found an article on here on, uh, was it Newsweek? U.S. News? It had an article up here about him being arrested. Delhi Express U.S. I've never heard this channel. And it says, suspect killed pregnant Amish woman in the case of mistaken identity, daughter says. And it says right here that a woman says her dad savagely killed a pregnant Amish woman last week because he thought she was someone else. The reason why I'm bringing that up is I've seen this. And sometimes you'll see these news articles, like as a content creator, you'll see these news articles. Right. And it had come out and it'll just be one or two of them saying it. But a lot of times it's not true. I don't know if this is true. The way I base my channel on is this. If I see it in a media video. You know what I'm saying? Or if I see it on a well renowned media post. Now, I've never heard of this place, so I'm not going to discredit that. This might be a big play, uh, media platform I never heard of. Then I'll put it out there. Because a lot of times, especially younger YouTubers, and it's not their fault. YouTube is a journey and a lot of people haven't gotten to a certain level and they have to grow through it. They might do a video sometimes and they'll say something outside of, you know, just them thinking and without saying that this is their opinion and it can spread like wildfire. Now, I'm not blaming nobody for this because, I mean, it is out there, but I didn't see it earlier. And I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, I try to pride myself on what I say on here and the information I give you guys. There'll be things out here I don't know. I haven't seen. But I mean, this right here is some new stuff to me. Now, this guy, if this is true, hear me out. If this is true, is this the only platform I've seen this on? If this is true, that makes it all the way worse. You bust up in the house with people. So... I said in my other video, I said, well, I'm sure he knew these people. If he knew where they lived and the bus up in there and acting crazy, crazy, like, where is she at? Where, where is he at? Where my grandson? Come to find out he bust in the house and didn't know him. So the people wasn't Amish. It, this, this article says the people wasn't Amish that had the uh, boy, too. So when you pulled up and you seen them horse and buggies out there, that didn't click in your head like, hey, maybe the wrong people is here. He bust in this house, guys. They said this guy is Sean Cranston bust in the house. Forced his way in the house. Where's he at? 
Come on, you didn't see that lady had Amish attire on? Because Amish people dress a certain way. You can tell, like, they, they you know, they're not in costume. Like, I'd have been like, hold up. And she did what anybody else would do. Defend her home. Hey, get out. What are you doing? Get out of here. And he took her life. And the way he left her is, is cruel. But um, my thing is this. He adopted a kid. And the, the girl who's a grown-up now is the one that's saying this. Hey, he thought they were somebody else. This is a grown woman now. And you adopted her as a foster parent. You know, you did your job as a foster parent. How are you going to get mad at somebody else or even have the idea you're going to go over there and take a child by force that's with somebody else that's doing a job that you did before? Almost. That's hypocritical. I feel nothing for this dude. Another thing is this. If they had moved away a few years, that means what? It was a few years since you've seen your grandson. Now, all of a sudden, he important. I mean, it's just my opinion. I, I mean, stuff is still coming out. This might not even be, a, you know, this might have just been said because this woman didn't know what happened. She's just talking after the fact of this. But all I do know is this. This woman's, this woman's dead and she died horrifically, leaving behind a... Uh, some kids and a husband wondering why. Think about that. This is one of the worst things that can happen to you. Mistaken identity. This guy didn't even ask the right questions. I'm sure if he knocked on the door, even though he was an a-hole, if he was a reserved a-hole, he would have got the questions he needed. And this woman would have still been alive. His dumb ass wouldn't have been in jail. And I said before, my other thing, instead of running and having aggression towards this woman that you didn't know, even if she did or did not have this child, and was trying to do the right thing by welcoming him to our family through adoption. If you want to take your anger out, take it out on the reason why the baby wasn't a, what, went up for adoption. And uh, whose fault that was. See, a lot of times we don't address the issue at hand. We'll address the blame of the issue instead of just getting it at the root. This whole thing should have never happened. And this right here, man, is something that's like, like I said before. We need to change the laws. People need to think twice before they go all out and do something crazy to somebody that didn't deserve it. The punishment should fit the crime. Something crazy should happen to this guy. Because I'm going to tell you something. This is a big ass oops. Oops. Ain't no coming back from this, bro. And I guarantee you, no matter how hard he thought he was, busting up in there like he doing a prison break or something for somebody. Sitting in that cold jail right now, I bet you he regretting every decision he made. He looks stupid in the eyes of criminals. You look dumb. You bust up in the house and kill somebody that ain't got nothing to do with you. We all have demons inside us that we fight. But the victory will be ours because we're the ones that have to tackle it. See, that's the thing. Anybody can talk to you and talk you down off of ledges and all this other stuff. But you got to win the war that's in your head, your own head, because people can't read your mind. And that's the thing. If you need help, get help. And obviously, I don't know. I think this guy was drunk or something. I mean, years pass. All of a sudden, what kicked in your head? Boop, you know what? I'm going all out. I'm going to just go over there and just do this. I'm going to get this child. How you going to pull a kid out and you ain't seen him in three years? What if he ain't familiar with you like that? He didn't already carved the life out for himself. Who are you, the one to go and do that? You're the grandfather. You're not the father or the mother. Instead of tackling, trying to attack somebody else, attack why it was that you got to feel as though you had to do this in the first place. Because if a child was going up for adoption and you all gung ho for the kid, you could have put your name in as next of kin to get said kid. Now, I believe the child was living with him at one time with, uh, I guess, a family member. That's what I'm picking up. So I don't know. But I mean, more stuff will come out. The guy just got arrested Friday. And I wanted to address this because if I did miss that, I want to come back. But like, I don't know. I just seen this one article. I'm putting it out there for you guys because, you know, you guys kept hitting me up in the comments. If he did do this, it's really bad. And you guys can expect another video and an update on this when more news uh, surfaces. But I'm Stock Mark Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Even though I don't answer all of you guys' comments or thumbs up them or heart them or whatever. I do see them for the most part. A lot of you new subscribers that see me sitting here, 
a lot of times I've been sitting here for hours going through different stories and stories I think you guys would like and picking and choosing what I want you guys to do so I don't have time to be in the comment section until late at night. But uh, I do appreciate your comments and I appreciate you as, as the viewer. It's my job as a content creator to give you the best of me. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. But you guys, you know, I do appreciate your comments and they do help out this channel. This channel is just as much as yours as it is mine. And I appreciate you all. See you in the next video. Take care.